Today we're going to talk about how to use Chocolaty to upgrade software on a Windows machine and to manage those upgrades as well. So to start off, let's list what I have installed on this machine. And I want to specify the LO flag here. That's going to list only packages that are installed locally on this computer. If I don't specify that flag, Chocolaty is going to reach out to the chocolaty.org repo and list all of the packages available there, which is a lot more than what I want to worry about today. So the first thing I'm going to do is, for one piece of software, I can run the choco upgrade command. And I'm going to go ahead and specify one package here as VLC. That's going to go ahead and reach out to chocolaty.org, look for a new version, and then upgrade to that version. So that's the way we can do it for one package. If I want to do this for multiple packages, there's a little bit more efficient of a way to do this with the choco outdated command. And what that's going to do is it's going to list everything I have installed, the current version, and the latest available version in chocolatey.org, as well as there's a, a field on the end here called pinned. Now pinned is a bit of a unique feature. Basically, if you have a version of software that you want to keep at that level and upgrade everything else around it, you would pin that software to the version you want it to stay at. Okay, so now that the command is finished running, I'm going to go ahead and pin some software. You'll see up at the top of the list I have JDK8. Now, for those of you who have worked with Java before, it is very picky about versioning. So I'm going to use the Chaco pin add to add a pin to this and specify dash n for name equals JDK8. And now that specific version of JDK is pinned and won't be upgraded. And to show this, I'm going to try and upgrade it right now. And the upgrade fails because the package is pinned. Now we can also specify specific versions in that command if we want to add a pin. So if I wanted to add a pin to, let's pick on VLC again, and I want to keep it at version 3.0.5, that's going to go ahead and pin that specific version of VLC in my software. So now that those are pinned, I don't have any others I want to keep. I want to upgrade everything else around it. I can run Chaco Upgrade. But this time, instead of specifying a package name, I'm going to send it all packages. And just for good measure, I'll throw dash Y on here to auto confirm and auto accept any license agreements. And what this is going to do is it's going to go through everything I have on that outdated list that's not pinned and update it in place. Now this is doing it from chocolatey.org. If you have a custom chocolatey repo in your organization that you want to point to, that's fine too but I'm not using that for today. And that's it. That's how we use Chocolaty to manage our software. Thank you all for tuning in.